So my name is Jeremy Abbott, and I work at Google, and I'm the creative evangelist there. Yeah, my whole premise today was basically to just to bring to light that the choices we make today really affect what we do tomorrow, and that's always been the case. But now that there's been so many more different and different choices, that um, they even have a bigger effect. Mobile is extremely important. It's something that at Google, it's like the number one priority. It is the number one priority. It's not a like. And I think mobile is the start of the Internet of Things, if you, you know, that whole term IoT. So I think, you know, mobile is just, it's basically, again, it's going to be huge. It already is huge. And by nature, humans, we are social. So anytime there's a new technology that lets us be more social, then it's going to be widely adopted. And I think that's why you see the mobile phone is so popular. And it's not just because we're more social with it. It's in, in, the, in the sense of social networking, but just in general, you know, we, we, have, we have a better, um, I would say we have a better understanding of our environment to some degree. And obviously the ecosystem for Google is obviously the, the iOS, Android. But just in general, I think the, the mobile is, has become a personal device that has, be, that has gone beyond everybody's expectations. Well, I think since you have a lot of people working on mobile in, in the valley and stuff, and they typically have a better sense of software and uh, user experience and interaction design and, and to some degree product, in the sense of you know, the mobile is more personal, I think they have a better handle on where things are going in that sense. because. The, the, the valley is not, you know, doesn't have this, this uh, hang up with, you know, we've done stuff before, you know, like we have the car and we have to do the next version of the car. So they start from scratch, this idea of first principles. I think it offers so many different opportunities that people didn't have before. And obviously Silicon Valley, the original, will always be Silicon Valley because of Stanford and, and the, the history it has with there. But I think it's great, you know, there, you, you, another country that's really doing amazing stuff is uh, Israel with Tel Aviv. You see a lot of startups coming out of there. And then you have London and Berlin. And they, every country in, has a different cultural flavor. So I think they offer a different perspective to things, and that was part of my talk as well. I think you need this diversity. But that being said, I think you know the more that people are able to, to do things themselves and empower themselves and start new companies, I think that's, that's a pretty uh, huge opportunity. That's huge. That's something that Eric Schmidt talks about as well. You know, I think, what was it like? Right now we have 3 billion people that are connected, and it's predicted in the next five years we'll have 8 billion people. And a lot of these people are not going to be on desktop. Their first experience will be mobile. So that's why mobile is uh, almost the number one priority, if not the one number one priority at Google. You know, what, is, what are the implications? What, what are the implications of all these new users for, for the company and for just themselves as well? I think it's the stuff we don't think about. Like when I showed in my, in my presentation, the grumpy cat, you know, that, that totally unexpected. Nobody would have thought back when, uh, you know, when, when, uh, they were creating the mobile phone and then Steve Jobs came out with the iPhone in 2006 or whatever that you know they'd have you know that would spawn this whole other whole basically industry or this whole different brand which is called Grumpy Cat so I think it's the stuff I think to really understand the really interesting stuff you have to look on the edges of things I think a lot of times big companies they tend to look in the middle at the mass but what's interesting is actually the edges and that's where all the interesting stuff is going to happen